Hello, hello guys. Uh, good afternoon. We are back for the game number three of our first series. So this is the last game. And dito natin malalaman kung sino ba talaga yung papasok Ten for seconds. the uh, major. Last lot for China. Five is it Extreme seconds. Gaming Remain. or Azure Ray? So, uh, for heroes already for both sides. Hinahanap na natin dito is yung uh, offlane hero and then middle lane hero ata para sa Extreme. Hindi natin sure kung ano ba yung magiging role ng Batrider pero usually nirun na lang siya as a support hero since halos team naman din yung napaprovide niya. Ten seconds. And if you're gonna look for a mid-hero for the side of Extreme Gaming, uh, meron ba tayong ideal na hero dito na pwede nilang makuha up against Pangolier? Meanwhile, for Azure, I mean, wala naman silang pang save over to the Chronosphere. May be blank. Ay, hindi, meron pala sa Depth Shroud. Nung Slark. So, uh, magiging uh, problem yun yung faces Void later on. Parang, ang mga yari dito for Void is usually yung Slark yung gusto mong makronosphere. Make sure na hindi siya makapag... Uh, makapag Depth Shroud, diba? Sa teammates niya. Sa inyo, magiging saving grace nila sa chronosphere ng Void. Medyo maganda yung uh, team fight na magkabi ng team. Siguro yung nakukulangan lang ako for Extreme Gaming is yung possible follow-up sa Chronosphere. Chakram lang yung nakikita kong ideal. For Static Storm, parang hindi naman siya sulit in terms of DPS. Parang mas maganda pang control yung Static Storm. And for Azure, time for them to decide kung sino ba talaga yung makukuha nila dito for their last pick. I mean, is it even good to have Medusa at this point? I don't know. 10 seconds remain. Kahit Medusa offlane. Since nasa na naman yung Pangolier and Slark. Tapos wala rin naman ng uh, counter dito yung extreme up against Medu. Tapos meron pa silang Keeper of the Light. Pwedeng gawin yung uh, bigay-bigay lang ng Chakra. I feel like not bad. Not, not bad hero. Pero baka mas may hinahanap na sila sa offlane hero nila. Radiant's turn to pick. Uh, Azure Ray yung nanalo kanina boss Kaya umabot tayo ng game number 3 So Parang ano eh Back and forth yung nangyari Doon sa game number 2 natin Abaddon will be the final pick for Azure Ray Ito yung hero na unti-unting nagiging popular na So far 10 seconds Extreme Five Gaming seconds remain. Puck We'll be getting Puck para sa kanilang last pick. So, uh, okay naman yung Puck para sa akin. Looking at the heroes of Azure Ray, parang wala naman sila ganong uh, decent catch over to this hero. So, it might be a free Puck game. Hindi ko lang alam paano mag i dito yung Azure Ray. Ano ba yung inaantay nila? What can Abaddon do? Or itemization ng Abaddon dito? So, let's see if ever na kakayanin ba to ng Azure Ray. Tama ba yung Abaddon pick for Azure Ray? I don't know, boss. Iba to. China region tong kinocover ko. Uh, if you're talking about Southeast Asia, 2-0, blacklist yung nanalo, boss. Yan yung pinacover ko na lang kay Ate Sherry para makover ko tong China region. Kasi ito rin uh, tiebreakers din to. Kung sino manalo dito, sila yung papasok sa major. Five eh, nagkasabay yung seconds. schedule. So, binigay ko na lang kay Ate Sherry yung uh, Southeast Asia. Pero tapos naman na yung laban. And it was 2-0. Blacklist yung nanalo. So uh, here we go para sa ating uh, Game 3 ng Extreme Azure Ray. Talagang match na match yung laban na itong magkabilang team na to. Somnus, up until now, sobrang solid pa rin maglaro ni Somnus. Give me a minute guys. Nagkakunin lang ako saglit.
So here we have it. Game number 3. Ang ating uh, best of 3 series. Tignan natin kung kakayaanin pa ba ng Azure ma-reverse sweep dito yung extreme or makakapag-adjust naman na ulit yung extreme. Since looking at the heroes so far, I think much easier yung uh, lalagawin dito ng extreme gaming with their heroes. Sobrang ganda ng puck para sa akin. Wala sila gaano catch dito eh. For Azure Rain. Hindi ko lang kung paano yung magiging uh, way nila para mahuli yung puck. Global silence lang. Puro silence lang yung meron sila. In terms of disable, medyo lacking. Rolling Thunder lang talaga yung may offer dito ng Pangolier for the disable needed. Anyway, what's this? Observe rewards? Actually, kita sila dun. Yep, alam nila kung nasan dito yung extreme gaming. Oh boy, sent rewards. Saktong sakto. Ah, I think abot to. Abot. The crucible of greatness. Now the question is, will someone check, check it? Para lang makita yung sa rewards dun. Now for JT. Will be the first blood. <laughs> Inabot na naman dito. Azure Ray na naman yung nakakuha ng first blood. Just like the game number 2. Well, tignan natin. Less than 1k for Azure Ray. Dozens of first blood. Advantage. Silencer lang naman yung nakakuha. So kahit pa paano. Hindi naman siya ganun ka big deal. For extreme. Magkakaroon lang talaga ng... Uh, Kaya mga consumable or early stats yung silencer. As a position 5, sigura okay lang naman yun. Yeah, shield crush. Para lang sa damage reduction na hinahanap ni Somnus. Nice swash buckle. Nakadudge naman doon si uh, paparazzi ng... Sigura mga tatlong hit ng swash buckle. Isa lang yata yung tamama or dalawa. I don't know. So, medyo quiet start lang naman tayo dito para sa ating uh, lane stages. Medyo mahirap pa magkapatayin looking at their heroes. But uh, speaking of, top lane, Lu, will fall right here. But same goes with the Disruptor. And as for the Silencer, uh, that's gonna be double kill secured for JT. So, bowing bowing in Team Burso for the top lane. Nabati natin. Bigla nagkaroon ng, 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 ano, ng kills. A minute and 40 seconds, and time mocks out, Palace of Faces Void. Here comes FY, we'll be looking to try and pressure DY with his right clicks, that's it. Gamit naman na yung Flame Break, so wala naman yung offer dito masyado yung uh, Batrider. For Somnus. To deny the head, up against Pac, so I think okay pa rin naman yung nangyari dito for the Pangler. It's one of the problem ng Pac, pagdating sa lane stages. Baba ng base armor niya. So, pasok na pasok yung swash buckle dito ni Asomnos. If ever tumatama sa puck, then grabbing damage yung makukuha doon ng puck. So, refill ng bottle with the water rune available. Yan, yeah, marirefill naman ng magkabilang hero. Mid-hero. Nice deny. So, flag bearer yun. Yung na-deny ni Paparazzi. And speaking of flag bearer creep, yung pagkating sa mga small details, isipin mo kung nalalasak mo yung flag bearer, Pala siyang considered as 5 last hits, pero distributed kasi sa mga players, diba? Plus 5 last hits, kasi ano yun eh? Gold sa lahat yun. So kung sakaling ma-deny mo yun, parang sinabi mo rin naka-deny ka ng limang creep. Three minutes in, 2-2 two -two yung ating score. And for Faces Void, wala naman siyang problem dito for his plane. Dilation is available. Tamang farm man lang naman na sila sa bottom lane. Siguro support hero lang yung possible mabigyan. Pag na-slow down ng Dilation or ng Curse of Avernus. Top lane natin dito. Kaka, not gonna live. He goes down to the hands of the Silencer. 
So, ito yung medyo okay na approach for Silencer. Yung minamaximize mo agad yung uh, damage ng Arcane Curse and Last Word. Wala kang point ng Glaives. So, mataas yung kill potential niya pag ganyan. There are times na okay yung mga Glaives. Eh, yun yung mga time na kapag kalaban mo Tidehunter. Kasi meron siyang Dispel sa Arcane Curse at sa Last Word, yung Kraken Shell. So, mas ideal na mag-Glaives sa mga ganong situation. Pero this time, wala naman silang pang-remove dun sa Arcane Curse and Last Word. So, better max it out. For DY dito, makapag-TP out pa rin naman. Nagpahabol lang siya. Nabis, di ba? Na-free up yung Faces Void. For middle lane action, that's gonna be Kaka once again. This time, he might be able to live. Under the tower, under yung regeneration given. Arkin Curse will be able to finish him off still. Alright. So, namatay pa rin si Kaka dun. Lee enough yung regeneration given. Ooh! Nicely done for Lou. Ganda ng ginawa nila. Parehong ganda ng ginawa. Nung, nung uh, Timber saw and then Stark. Timber... He's looking for the Timber Chain. Nagtanim siya ng Iron Wood para makapag Timber Chain palapit sa Slark. Patay na dapat yung Slark doon. Pero Slark dito, he's aware of it. Kineling Blade niya agad yung ating uh, Iron Wood punch. So, grabe yung ginawa doon na magkabilang uh, hero. Magkabilang player. So, JT dito. Last word will be there. Walang alang Arcane Curse for the Silencer. Nagamit na niya. Nalate yung last word eh. Kung sakaling napagsabay niya, yung last word Arcane Curse, Baka pwedeng mamatay yung uh, timber so. May shoutout nga po pala kay Jason Jason Rivera Doon daw sa Jerry's Liempo To peace out Cotabato Sabi ni Gras Garcia's Grill Shoutout po sa inyo and uh, welcome po sa ating stream. 5 minutes in. 14 score. Silencer dito. Getting low. Last word use. Kaka looking for a possible skill. Na pwede niya maiba to. And there goes the Thunder Strike. Gonna be over to the Stark instead. FY will be joining. Gets the Arcane Curse. Chakra will be given for the cooldown reduction. Kaka dito will be taken out. But same goes with the Abaddon. Na iwan siya sa may bottom lane. And uh, tinake advantage naman na ganyo ng uh, Extreme Gaming. So that's a uh, much better pick up for the side of Extreme. Wala naman nag-rotate sa kanila. Wala naman na-force it na reaction. And uh, core hero pa yung nakuha ng Extreme Gaming. Now, for the power run, not gonna be so lucky for the Pangolier. Illusion on secured para kay Paparazzi. So, medyo mahirap to para sa Silencer. If ever gusto niyang uh, gawin yung puck dahil meron siyang pang basic dispel. Illusion. DY dito will be hiding onto Somnus. Somnus dito. Chakra given para kay FY. From FY. Six minutes, and uh, what's gonna be their plan? For the seven minute rune, wisdom rune available naman, mukhang wala naman magko-contest dito. Or maybe there will be a silencer. It's gonna be right over there, para di nyo ma- Ah, hindi, nakuha niya! Kap, nakuha niya yung wisdom rune. Pero for the bad rider, nakuha din naman niya dun sa may opposite side. And, um, na-even out pa rin naman yung nangyari doon sa trade. Too late para kay FY para i-contest yung Wisdom Rune. So, even exchange pa rin naman yung nangyari. Charis Dito will be manning up. Dream Quill will be used para kay Paparazzi. And that's gonna be Dream Quill over to the Abaddon. Charis Dito dropping low. He goes down again. So, off-lane Abaddon. Ah, medyo nag-backfire agad para sa side ng, uh, Azure. I mean... Unlike nung Omni Knight, grabe yung napaprovide niya kahit pa paano sustain. AOE, yung Guardian Angel, diba? Heavenly Grace. Abaddon na offlane, tapos yung itemization niya dito is more on right click. Parang hindi siya yung typical offlane na in-expect natin dito for Azure. Ganun pa rin. Parang gusto niya pa rin maging uh, right click hero. Pwede ka natin. Mantas talaga kasi yung unang nakakidub item dito for the Abaddon para sa Quick Silence. Malay mo naman, di ba, maging effective. Lalo na't kulang sila dito sa catch. Up against Spock. So, yung Manta style para lang mag-kick uh, in agad yung Curse of Avernus. Malaking bagay din naman yun. And that's gonna be DY. Farming the neutral stacks here. Chalice will be joining with the Potic Shield. Looking to try and uh, get the last hits needed. And that's it. 
Binarawat lang naman sila ng Path Rider, yun lang naman yun. For the Abaddon, wala pa rin naman siyang level 6 up until now. And for Paparazzi, he will be continuing to push this middle ring tower. Not worth tayo mga boss. Medyo dikit lang naman. Abaddon lang yung nag-fall off dito since 2 consecutive deaths na for the Abaddon yun nangyari. So biglang nag-fall off siya in terms of network. But safe to say na parang even pa rin naman yung game natin up until now. Wala pa naman talaga yung typical na nakakagain ng momentum para lang ah... Madominate dito yung after ng lane stages. A prize. Nine minutes in, four or five in score, less than one T pa rin naman para sa side ng Azure. And for Lu, continuous pa rin naman si Kuo Farm. He's level six already, so for the Stark, wala naman na siyang problem dito sa kanyang lane. Meron na siyang sariling pang regeneration. The right farm is first for the Slark, going for Echo Saber for his next item choice. I'm not sure if Defusal Blade is here, but I think Defusal Blade is not a bad choice. You're dealing with Timber Saw, so burning out his mana. That's a big deal. Yeah, it's a big deal. Lu, Flame Break, Chakram, Timber Chain, Whirling Death, Lu goes down. Arcane Curse will be right there. DYD ito. Last word for the follow-up. So JT. There goes the glimpse. And Flame Break used. Courier dito na JT. Makukuha pa nga ni Lu. Somnus, Rolling Thunder will be used. Over to DUI with Firefly available. Shield Crush will be able to slow him down. And one more impact para sa Rolling Thunder. Swatch back afterwards. That's gonna be a kill security. It's a nice rotation para kay Somnus. Tier 1 top tower secured. 6 6 yung score. DUI dito. Ano bang plano? Kukuha ba sila ng neutral stacks? Possible naman. Buck naman yan. Tamang Firefly lang naman para sa mga battle rider. Maybe flame break. Kaya naman nilang kunin yung neutral stacks. For Ghost, Hand of Midas is available. So, in terms of scaling, medyo okay na to yung Faces Void pagdating sa mga late game. For sure, makukuha niya yung mga key items na kinakailangan niya. Kailangan na lang niya ayusin is siguro yung mga initiation niya sa Chronosphere kasi hindi nagiging target. Now, for the neutral stack, change the stacks. This time, it's gonna be Somnus and FY getting the stacks here sa may Triangle Camp. So, tama nga, consume lang ng mga resources yung nangyayari dito sa magkabilang team. And for Extreme Gaming, so far, they're gaining the lead. 2k advantage to para sa extreme. FYD to will be able to scout out DY. Illuminate. Will just connect. DY Dito is gonna be in trouble. 3 heroes para sa side ng extreme game. Ng Azure. Will be able to kill the Bat Rider.
Bottom tower will be secured by Chalice. Ito yung uh, kinagandaan talaga ng Abaddon. Yung Curse of Avernus. Grabing attack speed yung nakukuha nila. 100 attack speed yun. Yung kapag max out na. Level 4. Now over to Slark, they have the glimpse, Static Storm ready, Dream Call for the follow-up, Slark Tito, there's nothing you can do about this, he's dead already. Global Silence will be used for the side of Azure Ray, this time over to the Faceless Void, there goes the control needed, Faceless Void will be taken out also. So na even out naman agad ng Azure Ray, but they might be looking for the next target, might be the Silencer, Chakram will be perfectly used by JT, and claims another kill for the side of the same gaming, claiming Lassa will be able to catch the Pangolier, and there goes Silence finally, follow up control, a protect shield available para si Abaddon, keeping Summit alive, and they might be looking to turn this fight around, but who will be their target, where is the control, ayun yung missing for the side of Extreme, for Azure Ray pala, sorry, yung control given, more on silence and slow lang yung meron dito yung Azure Ray. Kapag wala sila ng Ring Thunder, mahirap kumuha ng kill. And there goes FY. Might be the next target for the side of uh, Extreme Gaming. But there goes Chalice, ready to protect him. And DY dito will be the one to fall instead. Somnus, Swatch Backle out. Okay, Void, Ground Spirit will be used. Can they protect him? Chalice will be doing his best. Apotic Shield, Illuminate will be able to heal up Somnus. Somnus still alive. And now the Bashes came in. JT dito with the Whirling Death finishes off Somnus. And same goes with the Disruptor on the back line. Goes down in the hands of Chalice. JT Dito gets another one. And that's gonna be FY. JT trying to escape down to half HP. Timber Chain out. Arcane Curse last word. Both available. To slows him down. Pounce will be dodged by JT. And that should be enough for him to escape. Or maybe not. Continuous chase. But in a man for the side of Azure. You'll be able to take out the Timber. So a long team fight for both sides. Faces Void needs to be careful. Time out. out. Wala nang panghabol dito yung Azure. And that's gonna be the end of it. 10-11 yung score. Grabbing pickoffs after pickoffs yung nakita natin dun. Umabot na nga yung start sa teamfight. We're in. Ano ba nangyari? 1.5k gold yung nakuha. Nung, uh, actually, hindi naman kasama yung iba dito yung kills. Eh. Wala yung sa phase void. So, hindi ko sure kung sila yung lamang dun. Pero feeling ko Azure Ray dahil nasa kanila yung less than 1k guild na yun. So, medyo okay yung nangyari for Azure Ray nung time na yun. Wala silang Chronosphere. Possible take advantage dun ng Azure Ray for the uh, next possible minute. And that's gonna be Lou. Na mahapati word naman sila dito. Global silence use. Their own the way. To catch this Pock and will be successful. Pock goes down and goes for DY. Pailing Lasso a bit too late. He goes down already. Two down for the side of Extreme Gaming. Azure Dito gaining some momentum on their side. And this is Abaddon. Look how fast they're hitting this objective right now. Chalice with Curse of Avernus. Grabe, mababasa ka dito yung tier 2 mid lane tower. This is early, 16 minutes in. Wala na tier 2 mid tower for the side of Extreme. And they might be able to continue this, going for the tier 2 bottom tower, fortification available naman na finally para sa side ng Steam Gaming. And they need to use it right now, a counter fortification for the side of Azure. I'm not sure kung uh, kailan pa ba nila mag-stick up dito, knowing na wala pa rin Chronosphere. 20 more seconds para magkaroon ng Chronosphere si Ghost. Ayan, mukhang gusto pa rin naman ituloy ng Azure. Wala lang silang Global Silence. Ayun na yung magiging problem nila dito. Now Team Bristol will be the one to hold this. Disengage lang muna para sa Azure Ray. Dyer's top tower is under Quill use, wala nga lang aabutan, but they have the Chronosphere catching the Pangolier here with the Static Storm on top of it. Pangolier goes down, a beautiful Chrono from Ghost, but now can they even get more? Silencer Dito will be protected by the Photic Shield from the Abaddon. Abaddon Dito looking for the next target, Pavis, Harpoon pala, sorry, available na to get this bad Rider and will be able to claim him. Pounce in, para kay Loop off the Shadow Dance, needs to be careful right now, maybe waiting for another charge ng kanyang Pounce. Chakra will be given. 
Through this the cooldown and as for Pock, he got silenced, bounced in for the Slark. He will not be able to catch him, but still enough damage to kill this Pock. Paparazzi goes down. Abaddon is the real answer for this Pock. Yung Curse of Avernus kapag na build up talaga. Wala pang Manta style yan. Harpoon pa lang yung item ng Abaddon yan. But so far, ang ganda na nangyayari dito for Azuri. Ito yung clueless ako kanina ng draft kung anong magpaprovide ng Abaddon dito. Amazing what you found lying around. Radiance bottom tower is under attack. Radiant are scanning for enemies. Roshan. Yeah, I'm going to get him secure net. Azure Rain with Abaddon with them. Kaya ang kaya naman yun. Abaddon, tapos. Curse of Avernus, lucky ka. Okay. There is little hope for Dyer's middle tower. Now Slark Dito will be able to catch DY. Pounce won't connect, but DY Dito still. Inabut up in a second pounce, and that's gonna be a kill secured for the side of Azuri again. Aegis for the Slark, available naman na. And now yung magiging next item na Dito. It's going. Ooh, alright. Hindi niya natinulo yung kanyang Echo Saber. Nag Mage Slayer na siya agad. Going for Orchid, possible. Pasa kanyang next item. Actually, na Ash queued up yung Shard Upgrade and then BKB. So, wala siyang plano Dito mag Orchid. Casual Mage Slayer muna para sa Slark Well, maganda naman yung Magic Resistance given yan Sa recent changes natin for Cloak Na pinataas yung Magic Resistance Goods naman na yun For Tournamenter dito makukuha pa nga agad ng Azure So, Shard Upgrade for the Silencer And speaking of Silencer, ang yaman niya dito Solar Crest, Pavis Parang hindi ka position 5 Silencer Sa itemization na nangyari dito for this hero Ang ganda na naging rotation ng Silencer Siya lagi nagbe-benefit so yun ako na mga kill six two five for the siren sir kaya ganito na agad yung items niya pavis and solar kasi sobrang daming pwedeng may provide niyan siguro kung mayroon papatay yung void sa corona sphere bakit hindi niya mapatay dahil sa solar dress and then yung pavis physical damage block three hundred tapos mayroon pang armor given ng solar kasi well, there goes the Harpoon over to Kaka. Nothing he can do about this. He goes down already. DY might be next. Diffusal Blade available for the slows needed. DY Dito. Another hero down. For intelligence, para sa silencer, thanks to the shard upgrade, you know who won ya? And then, meron pa tayong permanent agility naman para sa start. Puro meron sila na kung permanent stats dito, ah. Sa mga pickups na nangyayari. For permanent agi pa lang naman sa start, so di ba naman ganong kataasan. For the silencer. Ngayon lang naman siya nagdagay ng Glaives and nasulit pa nga agad dahil dun sa Shard upgrade niya. First time nila nakakuha yun. Apat, eight agad yun. Dalawang kill. Twenty-two minutes in and it's 4k lead for the side of Azuri. Now there goes the global silence used, and for the bat rider, he's dead. Blue, same thing, dropping low. Will do fall. Does have the Aegis. Charles Dito manning up, up against Ghost. Goes with the BKB. Corona Spear is still available pa rin naman para sa Faces Void. And that's gonna be Star Extreme used over to Somnus. With the BKB on top of this, Somnus Dito will be able to fight back. Shield Crush used para kay Somnus. Disengage lang muna. Slark will be pouncing in. Double Pounce used. Pero DYD Dito will manage to run. Medyo napamali ng direction dun para sa Slark. And wala naman namatay. That's only a buyback for the Bat Rider. Wala pa rin namamali dito for the side of Azure. And the first one to fall will be the Silencer. So this time, Azur Dito will be backing off. Knowing that it's hard to get the positioning, 
to take this fight again. And aware naman sila na available pa rin yung Chronosphere, even yung Flaming Lasso. Maybe wait for another ultimate. Maybe Rolling Thunder in Somnus. And as for Paparazzi, there goes Swashbuckle. Not gonna be enough to burn out his mana. Paparazzi will still be fine. So back on farming. Now, this is scary. Manta style available na para sa Abaddon. Blink dagger ba yung next item niya? Yeah, going for blink. Kasi na matalo na ng Abaddon dito, good luck. Yun na lang yung masasabi natin. Sobrang bilis ng curses of Vernus dito. Lalo na meron siya Echo Saber. So matik yan. Pagkapap ng Manta style, tigis ang palo. Then magpaproc yung Echo Saber niya. Silent ka kaagad ng Curse of Avernus. So andun agad yung attack speed given sa atake dun sa hero na Curse of Avernus. And now a smoke play for the side of Azure. Going for the wrap on play. Might be Pock. Paparazzi spotted in. Manta style, hindi na nga kailangan i-commit. Well, there goes the Yule Scepter to try and remove this. But they have the stun, the control given. Somnus dito. And Chalice takes out the Pock immediately. Down for 40 seconds. Faces Void will still continue to farm. Mayaman pa rin naman dito yung heroes for extreme. So there's nothing to worry about. Uh, for the Timber Saw, look at this item, diba? Sobrang yaman nila dito. Same goes to the Faces Void. Going for Milner for the next one. Pero paunahan lang talaga ito sa teamfight. Pagandahan ng initiation sa teamfight. Ganun nila mauwi itong team, yung uh, game na to. Kung maganda yung magiging uh, Chronosphere. Kung mauhuli niya yung Slark inside the Chronosphere. Then sobrang ganda nun for the side of extreme gaming. Stark lang yung merong pang save sa Chronosphere with this in-depth shroud. Five K advantage for the side of the extreme game. And ang Azure pa la sorry. Nandito talaga tatraga ako sa ano? Sa team logo nila. Same na same kasi. Para na nagdagan lang ng mata yung ane sa Azure. Well, they're going to smoke play. They'll definitely do found Chalice, but this is not the ideal target to begin with. And they'll use the glimpse. Over to Chalice. Chalice Dita will try and get Shaka. Battle time will be used. Para kay Chalice this time. Static Storm available pa rin naman. Dilation will be there for the Faces Void. And pop the BGB. Pop the Manta Style. Para kay Chalice Faces Void is just getting killed by the Abaddon itself. There goes the Star Kill. Bounce in. Abaddon down. I mean, Faces Void down for 50 seconds. No buyback. Di ba lang siya nakapag-Chronosphere. And now, it's gonna be a Zuri to try and secure this fight. Path Rider dropping low. Same goes with Team Burso, but he'll try and DP his way out. Here will be successful. DY Dito just trying to juke his way out. And will be able to outrun the Pang later. Same goes with the Silencer. Silencer will be keep on looking for the Bat Rider. Pero mahong masyado malabo na. And there goes Azure looking to try and get this objective. Chalice. Again, with this curse of a furnace. Look how quickly this tower is getting destroyed. Wala silang fortification. There's no sign of stopping this push. Faces Void is still down for a 15. And fortification does finally comes out for the set of racks. Melee racks yung magiging target dito ng Azure. Yeah, mukhang mag-overstay pa dito yung Azure. And now, Pak over to the back line. Rimko connecting all the two. Faces Void finally alive. And there goes the Pat Rider will be TPing in on the front. Chalice dito. Still has his battle time available. Chronosphere available. The man catches the start. That's a beautiful one. But can they actually finish him off? That's the biggest question. They have the Chakram damage for this. Lou pops his ultimate. So that's Chronosphere use without anything in return. Not looking good for uh, for extreme gaming. Now for Somnus, Rolling Thunder still available. They have the glimpse over to Chalice. Chalice with the uh, battle time available. Are you sure about this? Okay, now Chalice Dito might be looking for Kaka. There goes the Forest that will be able to keep him alive for now. But the Flaming Dash will be able to catch the Abaddon. Death Shell will be given to try and save him. But the Burst from the Timber so will be able to bring him down. Lu getting out position since he tried to save Chalice. Bounce out para kay Lu. They had the Glimpse ready. Static Storm will be dropped. And there goes the Slark. Still dropping low. Down half HP. Does have his BKB right now. So this might be enough for him to outrun them. Disengage lang muna para sa side ng Azure. 5k lead on Azure this time. Nabasag nila yung melee rack. So I think... Okay na agad yun para sa side ng Azure. Finders, keepers. Tiebreaker ng Astor and IG? Ah, yun na, hindi ko sure. I think after this one. May tiebreaker ba yung Astor at IG? Battle for... Second and third. Robots are scanning for enemies. Out. 
top lane. Disruptor will be taken out. Paparazzi Tito. Well, you can actually make a game target. Yeah, it's gonna be Timber so instead. Rolling Thunder will be there, controlling the Timber non-stop, and we'll be able to kill him. Timber down for 50, DY might be next right here. The force up is available, but the Chalice will blink in forward. Flame Break coming in, but they have the Harpoon again. Three heroes down for the side of Extreme Gaming. Azure just gaining the momentum early on this game. And they might be able to try and get more objectives. Goes for the tier 3 middle lane tower. Will has it on fortification for the side of Extreme. Now even with Phase's Void available, will has it on for Jito. 10 more seconds for the Chronosphere to be up. And I think they don't have enough damage for this. So Mahohu, what are you doing? Set up back on middle lane. More objective for the side of Azure Ray. And they're looking to grab more Timber. So I think he needs to buy back. Bad Tether's down for 40. They have the Static Storm for this. Corner Spear, will he use it onto the Abaddon? Not gonna be ideal. And now for the Abaddon itself, he's looking to try and kill Ghost. Lotus Orb will be able to remove this. So Chalice disengaged back to half HP. There goes the Glimpse. Can I take field? But he'll blink out back to safety. Oh god. So, but I'm here up the net off for the side of uh, Extreme Gaming. Azure Ray, 14k lead already. And Roshan is available. Now, force it to lane buyback on Timbersaw. And look at this. Two set of racks down. Roshan, pwede na makuha dito ng, uh, ex, ng Azure Ray. Daytime yun. So, nasa uh, Tijan side. Sabi, bottom lane yung Rosh. Aegis and Cheese. Ito yung hindi dapat makuha ng Azure Ray. Pag nakuha pa ta ng Azure Ray, Extreme Gaming, may hirapan na sila. I-defend yung ta ng top, top set of Raxes. Kailangan na contest to. Look at this. Azure Ray expecting this kind of movement na gagawin ng Extreme Gaming. So they'll be able to break the smoke. Chalice in front. And will be able to interrupt them. Chalice down to half HP immediately. Pop the battle time. Faces Void. Jumps in. Chronosphere will be used onto whom? Shadow Dance will be used already by the, the Stark itself. Gonna pop his BKB. And goes for the possible next target. And going for the SNG if only against the Team Bristol. Abaddon still alive. Fabius will be able to protect him. Chronosphere will do catches to someone. And that's gonna be the uh, silencer. Well, if the damn Shadow is not even needed to try and save him, Ghost won't be able to kill him. And this is not good for the side of Extreme. They've lost two supports already. Ghost will be found. But a bounce coming out from Lou. And as for this Chaos uh, Void. Down he goes for 60. Pop. The Sorry Orb out. Malaki pa. Harpoon! Ang laki ng range! Oh god! Pop! Mamamalay pa ata dito. And there we have it. 4 dead for the side of Extreme Gaming. And then, magkakaroon tayo ng disconnection. And GG has been called already. Game is over. 31 minutes game. It's gonna be Azure Ray. Yung mga qualify sa ating Major. FY and Somnus. Finally, makikita na naman natin sa Major. So what a performance for the side of Azure para sa ating game number 3. Abaddon pick. Feeling ko, ito yung naging uh, way para lang manalas na Ang ganda ng ginawa ng Abaddon sa game na ito. Hindi ko na-expect yung ganun magiging performance ng Abaddon. Ganun yung magiging effectivity niya for this game. And as a result, 2-1 tayo. Azure Day yung mananalo para sa ating first series. Magkabalik pa naman tayo for the next one after the short weekend, guys. Thanks so much for watching and be right back tayo.